I'm Tiger Jones, host of the most popular TV survival show, Amazonia. The Amazon rainforest is one of God's most fascinating and mysterious creations. Twelve thrill seekers have signed up for the adventure of a lifetime. Their goal? To survive six days in the wild of the Amazon. While battling the elements of the rainforest, teams of two will use their unique skills to solve a variety of challenges, earning a medallion for each one completed. At the end of each challenge, one team will be eliminated until only two remain. These final teams will battle it out to be the first to deliver their medallions to a hidden location. The prize at stake? $100,000. Let's meet our teams! Flip and Holly, Team Saliba. Clark and Louie, Team Ohanzi. Scout and Hunter, Team Marubo. Nelly and TJ, Team Arawak. Parker and Chase, Team Andoke. And Ace and Cruz, Team Yawanawa. 12 contestants, six teams, only one will be declared the winner of Amazonia. <sighs> I wonder what challenge we're gonna dominate today. Good morning. It is a great day to be in the rainforest. Don't you think? Wow, what has gotten into you? What do you mean? Well, for starters, you're eating worms. Yeah, I guess you could say I've turned over a new leaf. I woke up this morning, I was starving. So, had a few of these little guys, several slugs, some peanut head bugs. Peanut head bugs? Yeah, they taste just like peanut butter. Have you tried them? Uh, uh, no, for some reason I thought I read somewhere that uh, they're kind of dangerous to eat, but maybe I could be confused. Yeah, I'm not worried. I've been eating them all morning and I feel great! Oh yeah? Come at me, challenge. I've got energy for days. So, 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 yeah! Contestants, only four teams remain. With each challenge, you're being tested more than ever before. Today will be no different. Tomiki, tell them what they need to begin. This challenge is designed to show you another truth about God. As you and your teammate are pushed to your limits, lean into the truths you've already learned. To find today's medallion, you'll need this clue. Across the river, a golden egg sits. Discover the ancient legend and the prize you'll get. Sounds like you all have an interesting challenge ahead of you. The information you'll need to begin is by your team's flag. And as always, the last team to collect their medallion will be eliminated from the competition. An ancient legend? I wonder what that means. Across the river? What? There's no way we'll survive with all the things that swim out there. <laughs> Hey, hey, come over here. I need that necklace. How can you be so calm? You heard what Tamiki said. We have to find a way across the river somehow. Yeah, so what's the big deal? Look, I know you're gonna wanna go all survival mode on me and say, huh, yeah, we should just swim across, but I am not okay with piranhas nipping at my toes or, or electric eels chasing after me. Okay, it's fine, we'll just figure it out. One step at a time, remember? Okay. What do you need this for again? Uh, not sure yet. It just says, use the tribal symbols and necklace to unlock the mystery of the ancient legend. What symbols? I don't know, maybe you're talking about these? Here, look at these. Okay. Well, these look like some kind of tribal language. Do you recognize them from your game or anything? They look like the symbols that we use in our game challenges, but look, I do not have tribal languages memorized. Hmm, okay, um, let, let's look at the necklace. How are you supposed to know what order they go in? Uh, I think they go in the order of the necklace. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, the symbols on the necklace match the symbols on the cards. Okay. Um, All right. So this, this one. Yep. And um, that one. Yeah. Uh, this one. Mm-hmm. There it is. There it is. Okay. But what does it mean? Hmm. I don't really know yet. Let's see if there's anything else in this crate. Uh, anything of use? Anything? I don't think so. Nothing useful. Me neither. Use the tribal symbols and necklace to unlock the mystery of the ancient legend. We did that. There's nothing on here. It's weird. Cruz, look. The back of the card. <gasps> that key. Use it to read off the words to me. Okay, on it. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's see here. All right, go. King Louise's uh -huh. legend of the golden egg. Ace. It's King Louise's Legend of the Golden Egg! <laughs> yeah. What? Many moons ago, a drought entered the land, dried up the river, and caused a food shortage. King Louise, the leader of many tribes, had a daughter who was very sad that the people didn't have food. To cheer her up, King Louise gave his daughter a rare golden toucan. The princess loved the toucan, and the toucan loved her. They spent all of their time together, until one day when natives from a feuding tribe entered the village and birdnapped the princess' beloved pet. Despite the tribe's search efforts, the lost toucan was never recovered, but on the princess' birthday, neighboring tribes brought hundreds of golden eggs to the village to pay tribute to the lost toucan. The natives used the eggs to make bread and cakes for everyone to feast on, and celebrate until the rains came back, filled the river, and caused the crops to grow again. Even though the princess missed her toucan, she knew that it was best for the villages to have food. She saw that God had used a sad situation in her life to bring good to others. <laughs> Unlocking the legend of the golden egg? That was one of my video game challenges. Wow. Sometimes I can't believe how much that video game of yours ends up helping us. <laughs> now, do you know where we can find the golden egg? If I had to guess, probably somewhere near one of the villages the legend's based on. Hmm, okay, and uh, I'm guessing those villages are on the other side of the river? Yeah, like the widest part. And may this be a friendly reminder that swimming across it is not a good idea. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just giving you a taste of what it would be like if a piranha bit you in the water. Okay, I wasn't gonna argue that. We just need to find something to build a boat, all right? How are we gonna do that? Uh, well, we need to start off by finding big things of bamboo. We'll stack that on top, and then we need to find bigger logs to go underneath to act as a base. Okay, just tell me what to do. I'm ready. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna need some sort of sealant. We can pick that up from the reeds over at the riverbank, but, um, oh! Yes! What? Perfect! The rope. We can use the rope to tie the bamboo together so we don't have to use vines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. No, no, no. What is it? What's the matter? It's stabbing paint in my stomach. Are you okay? <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh, I think I'm dying. This is the end. Sorry. Oh no. I bet you're having a reaction from those peanut head bugs. Oh no. I should have stuck with the regular bananas, berries, and coconuts. Okay, okay, maybe you should just take a seat for a second. Uh, here, here, try this. Here's some water. Okay, maybe that'll help. Oh, oh no. Maybe not. I gotta go. Nature's calling and she's angry. Uh, okay, okay, uh, but but try to hurry, please. We, we, we've got a boat to build, remember? Oh, oh, it's not good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Smells like Cruz has a real problem here. 
Oh, okay, I don't have time to build a boat by myself. Uh, I'll never be able to get to the golden egg in time. Okay, Ace, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Don't panic, you got this. You've been training for this for so long. Just find some branches and some bamboo, and we gotta build this boat. Um, this way. Uh. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. Not bad, Ace. Whew. Ah, it's a good start. All right. Time to find some more. Ah. even close. And it's time for the bigger logs. Where is Cruz? What is taking her so long? Oh, this is the worst timing. Okay. I, I'm just gonna have to go find her. I, I need help. All right. <clears throat> Cruz! 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 Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling much, much better. Uh, where have you been? I was worried. Look at what I found. Ta-da! <gasps> wow, that's perfect! Where'd you find it? Okay, so remember earlier when, um, nature called? Oh, yeah. I'll spare you the details, but I found it hiding in some brush near that bat cave. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect. We don't even have to build a boat anymore. We can just take this over the river and get that golden egg. Yep. You know, seems like something stinky actually turned out to be a really good thing. Mm, I don't know about that, but uh, okay, come on. Let's go get that golden egg, find our medallion, and win a prize. Let's go. Before we find out what happens next with Ace and Cruz, everybody jump up and sing one of our favorite songs. God, you're powerful and right. You protect me day and night. You are loving, you are kind. Oh, God, you're always in control. You know everywhere I go. You are good and you are wise. Oh. Always in control. 
Great job, everyone. Take a seat. What animals are hiding in the rainforest? Shout out your best guess. Amazing job! My arms feel like worms. Too bad they didn't leave any oars behind with that raft. I know. I'm pretty pooped right now. You really think a poop reference is appropriate right now? Sorry, I just had to. I can't believe we were the first ones to find the egg. My arms are so tired. I don't even know if I can open it. Oh, look, there's a note and the medallion. Ready? Yeah. You found your medallion, and now you will see another truth about who God is. Continue to remember these truths and apply them throughout your time playing the game. Hey guys, I'm Alex, and this is Craig. Hey! <laughs> the Bible tells us a true story about a man who lived a long time ago named Moses. Moses would eventually save a whole bunch of people from a bad dude. I'm a bad guy. And do some pretty great things for God. But before he did all of that, he was just a baby, like you and me. Baby! And a lot of crazy stuff happened to him. Oh, wait, like good crazy or bad crazy? Well, at first it seemed bad, but then really it was good. I'm confused. Let's just get back to the story. Okay. Back when Moses was a baby, there was a king. Oh, da da da, king. And he was pretty worried about things getting out of hand. You see, there was a group of people called the Israelites, and because there were so many of them, the king was worried that they would eventually try to take over. So he made a rule. I'm writing a rule. The rule was that if any of the Israelites had a baby boy, you got a baby. The baby would be thrown into the river. Wait, what? Yep, and that meant Moses. Oh, no! Don't worry, though. God was good and had a plan for Moses. Little baby Moses wasn't going anywhere. Woo! His mom was able to hide him for three months. Three months? But after that, she knew she had to do something or there would be big trouble. Where? Once again, God was good and had a plan. Moses' mom didn't have a raft for him to float down the river on. Nope. So she made a basket out of tall grass and coated the basket with tar. She then put little baby Moses in the basket and let him float down the river. Bye, little baby Moses. I love you. At that very moment, the king's daughter went down to the river to take a bath. Go and take a bath. As she was bathing, she saw that there was a baby floating by in the river. <gasps> baby. She realized that he was one of the babies that was supposed to die. <gasps> and she felt sorry for him. Oh, no. She decided to keep the baby and raise him as her own. My baby. Moses then grew up in the king's palace and would eventually do amazing things, like save God's people. Yes, Moses! So, when Moses was actually supposed to die, God was good, had a plan, and made a way for him to live. That's because God is good in all he does. Ba, ba, ba! God, Moses. God is good in all he does. Yawanawa! You have now discovered that God is always working to do good things in us. That doesn't mean that things will always be easy or make us happy, but even when we experience hard times, God will help us to see more of who He is and how much He loves us. Your team has advanced in the competition, and you can remember that God is good no matter what happens during the challenges you face on Amazonia. You know, when things go wrong, all I have to do is remember that God is still good and He's just helping me know who He is. Yeah, things definitely didn't go as planned today, especially with that whole peanut head bug incident. But it worked out for our good. Yeah, another medallion collected. <laughs> Wait, what did the note say? Oh, right. You've won first place in the golden egg hunt. What? For working so hard, you'll receive the ultimate prize package. That includes sleeping bags, mosquito nets, and a week's worth of toilet paper. <laughs> yep! Wait a minute. Toilet 
paper. Where was that earlier? Oh, I wonder who's left. Today's competition was full of surprises as usual. You never know what will happen on Amazonia. Two teams found their hidden floats. One team chose to build a raft, and another team attempted to swim across the river. Cliff and Holly swam into a school of harmless feeder fish, and although no injuries resulted, they chose to withdraw from the competition. Only three teams remain. I'll see you all for another round of competition in the morning. The rafts were hidden for us! Oh, man! I still can't believe how you found it, though. <laughs> Speaking of, let's go get some bugs for dinner. I'm starving. Do you still want to eat bugs after a day like today? Yeah. I've turned over a new leaf, remember? Maybe I'll let you pick them for me this time, though. Good idea. Let's play this or that to review some things we learned today. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, wave your hands this way. And if you think the answer is on that side of the screen, wave your hands that way. Where did baby Moses' mom put him so he would be safe? In a basket or on a flamingo float? Wave your hands toward the answer you think is correct. Yes, Moses' mom put Moses in a basket she made and hid the basket in the tall grasses by the river. Who found baby Moses in the river? A rainforest zoologist or the king's daughter? The king's daughter found Moses and decided to raise him as her own child. Instead of Moses being killed as a baby, God had a good plan and was working things out for Moses' good. When hard times happen in our lives, what can we trust about God? That he is forgetful or that he is good? God is always good. No matter what happens to us, we can trust that He has a plan and is good in all He does. Great job, everybody! All right, let's pray. God, thank you for showing us that you are working things out for our good in every situation. Even when we face hard things, help us to trust that you are always good. We love you. Amen.